This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Plague Tale Innocence. In the last episode, we found the secret laboratory of Mother. And we survived ratnados and other such things. So let's continue on and see if we can find that potion to help Hugo. So the way I got past this part, well, it's not completely done yet. It was just throwing a Cyrus in the or extinguishing the fire, throwing a Cyrus in there, re-extinguishing it to do that. But now I probably have to do maybe make another Osiris or something like that, throw it like, I don't know, like either maybe here, like in the corner or something, just to get them out of the way so I can run past them, like extinguish the fame, make an Osiris to get them in a specific area, run past them, and then maybe relight it when, uh, when I do that. <coughs> it's really the only thing I can really think of. Um, I could be wrong though. The only problem I noticed is with the Osiris is that if you try to use it while surrounded if you get too close to it. Like, if you use the Osiris to try to get things, uh, rats off of you, sometimes they won't all run away towards the Osiris if they're stuck to you. It's like some weird mechanic in the game that 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 it, that there's priority over certain rats or something like that, so. Alright, well, let's maybe try, maybe extinguishing and getting on the other side here so we can force them all together. Lucas, Lucas, get over here. That way, because I want them you know, I need them to, I need to, them all to be together. You're not, well, guess you better not fuck me on this one. Um, uh, I think maybe over here. And then we'll try to run past them and set the, let's see if that works. Looks like it, so, okay, run this way. Okay. That should separate the Lucas, don't fuck me on this. Alright, because, sorry, sometimes the AI has gotten stuck to the rats and not me. And it's kind of annoying. I don't mind if me as the player... So this is the Sudatorium. The Romans came here to sweat. With the steam. Yes. It was... Oh, look! The sculptures! What? Alchemical animals, putrefaction, purification, amalgamation, and sublimation. The symbol in the basin represents putrefaction as well. These symbols used to fascinate me. There are more in the other two basins. Three symbols, four sculptures. There's a fire under that one. So we can probably light the others too. Mm. There must be a way to get to them. Interesting. But I was about to say, I don't mind if me as the player messes up and I die because that's because of incompetence. But if the AI gets me killed because of poor programming or whatever, then I get annoyed. You know, because that wasn't my initially my fault. It was the fault of the bad programming or whatever, so I'm just saying. Okay, so we have to figure out to relight it, so let me take a look at this again, see. Lucas, another fresco. A pregnant woman. But that's not all. Look, next to her. It's some sort of alembic, right? She's an alchemist? Exactly. Alchemy has often been compared to impregnation and the crucible or kiln to the uterus. Uh... Or maybe she's just a pregnant alchemist. Not just. This temple is your mother's. And it's not just a coincidence that this is a woman. It's an important place. You're probably right. Mm, maybe pregnancy is her fetish. Yeah, near the symbol. The slabs have caved in. I think you can get past. I'll go down. Stay here. All right. Yeah, we need to relight lit this thing up. We need to get a lit, yo. What do these do again? The lion. Oh, Leon, my darling dog. I hope you're happy where you are. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I almost forgot about the dog that died to the rats. Because, oh, I don't ever think they straight out said it, but yeah, the rats killed him. The snake. It gave me a few nightmares, that one. Snakes are creepy. Very creepy. I mean, I'm not afraid of snakes, but, you know. The swan. Imposing and graceful. Now I am afraid of gooses. Those things are monsters. Now have you played Goose Game or whatever it's called? The toad, <laughs> as ugly as ever. The goose is an asshole. <laughs> after 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 playing that thing, I'm just like, ah, oh, god, what a dick. Anyway, Oh, okay, down here. I was like, what is he talking about? I was like, oh, okay, right here. Derp. I was trying to find out where the, the little open way is. Uh, hmm. Great! Hey, 
What does it look like down there? A nest. They're all around me, and I, I can't see a thing. They're all around me, and it's scary and gross. No. We already know perfectly well that that's not how Amnesia acts, but still funny, right. though. Let's go. I'll try to guide you. And how do you intend to do that? The light. I'll wait close to the basement. Good luck. Uh, thanks, I think. I just want to see like, what other places we can check out or not. Oh, so this has its own. Okay. Hmm. So either way has a is a poignant for. Okay, we'll just have to choose a direction and go. If I die, well, hopefully it'll save me here, so I don't have to do that last part again. Not that it took me too long to do that part. I just had to. Yeah, good thing it wasn't didn't take that long. Luckily, there's a million, million sticks there conveniently. So, so let's try going the other way this time. Maybe we can jump over that. Oop. Better hurry. Oh. You're not far from a symbol. All right. Ah, crap. I'll carry on. Run. Back up. Back up. Whew, almost ran out of life. Ah. Try that again. I don't see any like random light sources though around. Oh, maybe I should have not been ducking while doing that part. So it's gotta be a light source around here somewhere. Oh, there's that. Okay, there we go. Whew. Can you see anything? The symbol has appeared. It's dropping light. There's still one more symbol to light up. Okay, let me go back really quick. Make sure I grabbed. What I did. I don't think I missed anything, but nothing there. Don't think so. Oops, I dropped that a little too early. I don't know why I did that. I guess because I'm an idiot. Well, that's not really up for debate. It's pretty much obvious. But uh, uh yeah, I think I grabbed. Oops. Grab whatever I could. Okay. We're good then. Just making sure. Just seeing if there's any creepy crawlies, sneaky wikis, and whatever else is around here. Ah. And I think there's like random materials around here too. No, well, I assume there's nothing down this way. Or is there? I'm coming back! I had to grab the saltpeter and fur and, and leather or whatever it is. God, calm down, Lucas. You're like such a girl. <laughs> nah, he's just he's just such a wussy. That's what you get for being an egghead, man. <laughs> Alright, I'll just grab whatever. Keep going. Going as fast as I there can. I have to get out of here. You're nearly there now. Thank you, Lucas. Keep talking to me. I, I don't know what to say. I never thought you would make it this far. I find myself here. Laurentius told me about the world through books. But reality is something else entirely, huh? That's the worst of it. None of this seems to be real at all. Yeah, you know, Lucas. Lucas always having his nose in books and not... Not knowing, uh, not living outside much makes sense that. But he was kind of forced into it, really. It wasn't like something he wanted to do, but, you know, the plague and everything else. He, after Laurentius got blown up, you know, had to force himself to survive. I was actually not expecting to have, like, so many extra characters, like, join us over the course of the journey. I mean, from a lot of the, uh, um,. A lot of what the, like, when you look at the box art and stuff like that, you think most of this game is just going to be you and Hugo surviving the Inquisition and the rats and everything like that. And, well, maybe not the Inquisition. It's hard to say, like, on the box specifically, but you think that that's what's going to happen is that that's all it is. It's just you do, you two together the whole time. So I actually surprised the game did the twist where we're actually not... Hugo isn't with us throughout the whole... with through every single situation, so it's a... Bit a uh, bit different, you know. In composition, 
purification and sublimation. Toad, swan, and serpent. So... So our friend the lion is hiding a secret. Okay. Good thing we didn't have to solve that puzzle, I guess. Stick your hand in there? No? I have to do it? Fine. He needs mouth, perhaps? Help us, mother. Go on. You discovered her secret, Amicia. You've earned this. Is that why the dog was named Lion or something? Of course, we didn't expect the dog. To, well, actually, we always expect the dog to die early. Look at those heartstrings, man. It's pitch black in here. It seems huge. Save your ammo. I'll take care of it. There you go. So, what do you see? Complementary products, stabilizers, reagents, noble materials, vastly superior to what we saw in the bedroom. This is it, Amicia. Good. Good. Amicia, these notes are handwritten by our mother. The tried and no transformation of the elixir is incomplete. The torch to the carrier disappears, leaving my son in the darkness of the macula. She was on the right track, Amicia. What we're looking for is definitely here somewhere. Yeah, but where? What does it look like? Over there. It looks like there's something. Another fresco. A child in the arms of its mother. But these marks on its torso, Lucas. The prima macula. But this fresco is at least eight centuries old. And yet this has happened before. But how many times? Who knows? Sanguinis itinera. The voyages of the blood. The macula travels through history. It's already changed the world and will do so again. This. This box has a phoenix on it. The symbol of the great alchemical work. Demisia, I think we found it. Open it. All right. Well, I don't want to open it. I want to go home. But nice that the, this place is completely lit up. Now I don't have to like be running into stuff in the dark. Yeah, in the dark. I'm not. I'm afraid of the dark. Well, hmm. I was about to say something about that, but never mind. All right. Anyway, now if it's the show, are you afraid of the dark? I'll watch that. That was a classy, classy show back in the day. Obviously, I had it suffered from its cheesy acting and all that other stuff, but uh, it was a, I liked it anyway. One of those early scary shows for kids, you know, that type of thing. Before Tales oh. of the Crypt and all that. Did my mother really know how to use all this? She was a master of alchemy. So if anything can save Hugo, it, it's here. Let's find it. Was she a master of alchemy? Really? No. Is it a family tree? Yes. Of my family, apparently. It disappeared. It must show how the macula came down to Hugo. And mother was trying to find it. Mm. So it does transfer from the mother's side of the family. Or it's from her side of the family, because... Uh, it just seems like the mother's role in this is a lot stronger, so that makes sense that it would be the mother's side that history pertains, that the macula is, is tied to, you know. Is there anything else I can upgrade? No. I'm not going to spend those. Before I open up the box, I assume we probably have to do some stuff. Of, oh, right, I was going to read the family tree. Genealogy is an ancient tradition upheld since the time of the Egyptians and mentioned in the Bible. It was long reserved for the rich and mighty and underwent a major evolution starting from the 11th century, serving to prove lords nobility or the absence of kinship of Mary, or Mary, Mary couplers. However, given the wealth power, wealth given the wealth power of their clients, it's not uncommon for some genealogists to prefer financial gain over accuracy. Yeah. History it, it tells all of the winner and and, uh, and those are the most money. So uh, let's see. Uh, do we want to? Let's see if we save the for the pouch. Oh, but it, we might not. Even, we might not even get enough by the end of the game to maximize the pouch, though. At least that's what's. I mean, because we almost almost never run across like hardly ever run across those fabrics or whatever. But at least with this, I can. Uh, I mean, see, you can use a sling to. Oh, we can throw the. Wait. Oh, we can throw it with a sling before we had to chunk it with our hands. Gotcha. Um, hmm. that's not really that important, really. The somnum can be thrown so we can uh, throw the uh, um, the sleeping potions too if we wanted to, as well. Might as well. Yeah, I guess. Because it'll be forever till we get the. Unless the end of the game will give us like a bunch of that, but I doubt it. So. 
Not bad. Not so bad two at more all. upgrades. I don't know if we'll get to that by the end of the game, but hey, we'll try. Let's see. Might need a key or something like that to open it, though. Lucas! Look! Found crystallization. Blue green edging. Substance clear. What? Lucas! Amber fragrance. Amazing. Spit it out. What on earth is it? The cure for Hugo. She was making progress, but she didn't have time to finish it. You mean the same cure that you... Yes, without the book. It's incredible she was able to get this so far. So perhaps we can use it ourselves. With the book and my preparation, I think... I think I may be able to finish it. You seem off to a good start, Magister. Why didn't she tell me? I would have understood. I would have... Ow! I would have done the same thing, Amicia. She was an alchemist, and, you know, her mother protects her children, doesn't she? Oh no, not now. How are we going to get out of here? Forget it. Just finish the cure. I'll hold them back. I don't believe it. Why now? Lucas, we have to get a move on. I'm reading. Your mother stopped the sun door. She found the torch, but she didn't know how to light it. It doesn't make sense. They're symbols. She was looking for the missing element, but the book says... You must empty the vessel for the spirit to fill it. Your mother was mistaken. We must not add, but subtract. Find me some macerate while I prepare the mix. There has to be some around here. Macerate? What's that? Where will I find it? In the pharmacopoeia. The alcove with the curtain. On my way. Quieten down. Laurentius used to say, calm the beating of your heart, for it is the wish of the heart that the hands express. So calm yourself. Uh, you take that word to heart while I try to save our asses. Why don't you? I knew we weren't gonna just like enter here and just leave. I knew something was gonna happen. Of course, it's gonna be the rats. There's not enough. There's no room for the uh, Inquisition to be here. Oh, I didn't. Huh? It's a. Uh... Okay, where are we supposed to go? It's supposed to be like over in the corner over here or something like that. I think you said so. Let's see. Lucas. This mechanism Do you have the, the same as the one I can't get there. There were too many rats around. It looks like multiple conversations activated at once. Is that maybe far enough? Let's find out. I think it's because he was gonna say get the mass array because just story wise he's supposed to say that if you take too long that oh maybe it's further down. He said by the curtain oh it's probably okay, gotcha. So we just have to go to the curtain instead. Should be enough if we get it over there. Should be enough light to connect the two, so hopefully. The curtain, it's there. I thought I checked this thing earlier, but apparently it won't let me grab it there once. Are too many. There are too many pots, Lucas. I don't know which ones are which. Find the one that really stinks. Everything stinks. I'm not sure my nose will be able to tell the difference. Aren't you a hunter? Shouldn't you, like, or weren't you taught to hunt? Shouldn't you be able to, you know, I don't know. I know you're not a dog or anything like that, but, I mean, I would assume you were taught sense and stuff like that by your dad for hunting purposes. That doesn't smell good. Oh, but it doesn't smell that bad either. Oh, come on, Amicia. Well, whenever one that makes you wretch, then you're good. Pepper? Mint? No, there must be worse than that. Much worse. <laughs> Mint? Mint is gross. No. What's that? No idea. It doesn't smell of anything. Nope, not that. Must be this must be our winner. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, that is absolutely oh. Lucas, I found it! Perfect! Free it to me! They're coming back! They're regrouping! I don't like that 
noise. Yeah, more of them keep appearing. Keep going. We nearly there. I'm coming. Okay. I've got it, dude. Put it there. Right. Let's awaken this phoenix. Gently. Stop shaking. There's no time to waste any. They're coming back. Ratnados, stop the Ratnados! They keep coming. At least we don't live in Florida or where or tornado. Actually, Slight alteration in you. Good. good, but not enough. I mean, I you technically live in Tornado Alley. Up. If you want so to go why to are you still adding things? You have to add in order to subtract. The bridge, here, Amicia. You have to clear away to the stills for me. All right then, let's get to those stills. All right, let's do it. Yeah, add, subtract, I don't know. It's like alchemy is math or something like that. Math is hard. <laughs> All right, oh, can't go. We have to go the other way. All right. This kind of, a, this kind of reminds me of early days of, uh, like a lot of these puzzles, kind of reminds me of early days of uh, um, Uncharted. They, they don't the Oops. Oh, no, they don't. Yeah, not, not unless I have a pile of fire in my hands. Have a little fire scarecrow. Oh, you're gonna follow me. Oh. Oh, he's taking care of it. Okay, cool. Oh, he just start. He just he just attacks him. Time to get back to work. Oh, Lucas, don't do anything stupid. I know what I'm doing. I think so. At least, at any rate, there's no going back. Just be careful. Yeah, just let the brain do his job, Amicia. Come on. Yeah, don't do it. Truth will flow out of the mouth. Come on. Give me your purest alcohol. Voila! The door of the sun. The flame of the carrier. Amicia, take me back. Right away. Take me back to where the home is home. Or I don't even know what I'm saying. Take me back to the Paradise City where the girls are green and, or grass is green and the girls are pretty. Oh, won't you take me home? Oh. Oh. hang about then please after you Lucas you did it we oui. Did it. Laurentius would be proud of you. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. At least we know for certain now. If the elixir is linked to the rats, that means there's a link to the carrier. Yes, but first things first. We have to save Hugo. Alchemist has worked wonders. We have the elixir. I always knew you were good. Oh, thanks. Come on, let's go see Hugo.
Hugo, you're not sleeping? Hey, look, we did it. The elixir. Luke has made it. Here you go. It might be a little bitter. Never mind. Drink it in one gulp. Very good. So, am I cured now? Um, well... In any case, you'll soon be a lot better. Monsieur, will we never see Mommy again? Oh, Hugo. I told you. She... She won't be coming back. No. And it, and it doesn't hurt where she is? No, no, of course not. Let's all go to bed now, eh? And tomorrow, when you wake up, you'll feel a lot better. You'll see. Well, we saved Hugo, made the cure. Everything's done, right? Game over? Well, I guess not so much cuz there's more there's more chapters, you know. With chapter 13 penance. Hmm. I wonder if that potion was all there is to it or is he truly cured? I hope so, at least for that part, but that doesn't mean the the rats are completely gone, right? I mean, they're still there and then we still got the inquisition and we I mean, what do we do? I mean, even if if the main thing we've had to do is is done, you know, what do we do? Go back to our go back to our old home, build that back up, leave the country or whatever. I wonder if this Inquisition is even supported by the church or or the state or whatever, or if it's just they're just renegade. <laughs> Amicia, Amicia, you won't believe it. Roderick beats Arthur at the slip. That's not true. He was in front of the line. <laughs> You're just rubbish. <laughs> oh, you two are arguing again. Ugh. Oh. If you don't play by the rules, you're gonna tell me Hugo? about rules. I keep telling Have you. Have you seen Hugo? Hugo! Hey! Hugo! Where are you, Hugo! 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 Oh no. He's gone. Gently now, gently. Of course, Hugo's cured now. The first thing he does is he runs off the little punk. No, we all know what he's, what he's, where he's going. But uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll. I mean, he's got short, stubby don't legs. Stop. Go on, Hugo. We all know. Where can he have gone? Where has he gone? Where shall we go? Think, Amicia. Think. Yeah, we know where he's heading off to, but he's got short, stubby legs. Maybe we'll get. Maybe we'll find him before. Uh, before he gets to the destination he wants to. Is that a, a, a village here? Why do I have a feeling I, I know like what's going on right now? Man, we'll wait for the story to to tell us. Hey, wait. Did anyone see a child come through here? Please! Oh, Amicia! Are you feeling better? How is the little one? Kulavi? Is, is, is that you? Have you seen Hugo? Did you shout at him again? No, absolutely not. Times are hard enough already without you two arguing. But we weren't arguing anymore. Amicia, 
A child never runs away without a reason. Open the door! I'm going to find him! All right, but be careful. An ill wind is on its way, Amicia. Ill wind indeed, you say. If we know where Hugo's going, then he's gonna set... What is that? What is going on? Amicia, I've been waiting for you. Come with me. Laurentius? Is that really you? Where is Hugo? He... he's gone. I knew this would happen. I did take care of him. Then why did he leave? I, I don't know. I... I did everything I could to protect him. Even horrible things. It is easy to spill blood, but to love, to protect. I'm going to find him. Then go, and pray there is still time. Me? I hear a noise outside. Hugo, that's him. Have we found Hugo so quickly? Is he off to save his mom? And what about everyone else in the party? Have they been forgotten? Find out next time in the next episode of A Plague Tale Innocence. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.